Hey guys, welcome to Simple Physics. This video is an introduction to the electromagnetic spectrum. So this is a new topic and hence we will start with what we already know. So here's a prism and here's how a red light of wavelength 8000 angstrom behaves when it passes through the prism. And here's what happens to violet light whose wavelength is 4000 angstroms. Now, did you see the difference? Well, if you haven't, here's the prism once again. And we now have both these rays parallel to each other incident on the prism. We find that the red light is deviated by a lesser amount compared to violet light. Now the reason for this is that the velocity of white light in glass is lesser than the velocity of red light in glass. Now although both these colors travel with the same velocity in vacuum, in glass violet light travels with a lesser velocity. And that's the reason why violet light gets deviated by a greater amount. But if we had a ray of white light incident on the prism, we would find that this white light would produce a band of colors when passed through the prism. And if we placed another prism, this band of colors would recombine to form white light once again. So the conclusion is simple. White light is a mixture of several colors that have different wavelengths. So here's our prism and here's what happens to white light. This phenomenon is called dispersion of light. So what is dispersion of light? Dispersion of light is the splitting up of white light into its constituent colors. And what's the reason for dispersion of light? Well, we already know, but Colors with a lower wavelength are deviated by a greater amount compared to colors with higher wavelengths. So this is how white light gets dispersed into its constituent colors. These colors are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Red light has a wavelength of 8000 angstroms whereas violet light has got a wavelength of 4000 angstroms. So this band of colors that is produced by dispersion is said to be spectrum. More specifically it is called the visible spectrum. Now since there is a visible spectrum it follows that there should be an invisible spectrum as well. So the invisible spectrum is in two parts. One of those parts has wavelengths greater than 8000 angstroms and the other part has wavelengths lesser than 4000 angstroms. So what is this entire spectrum visible or invisible made up of? It is made up of electromagnetic waves. So what are electromagnetic waves? Electromagnetic waves are those waves that consist of oscillating electric and magnetic fields perpendicular to each other. Now mechanical waves have particles oscillating back and forth or up and down or to and fro. But here electromagnetic waves have oscillating electric and magnetic fields perpendicular to each other. So how does a typical electromagnetic wave look like? This is how it looks like. Here we have the electric field oscillating in a vertical plane and the magnetic field oscillating in a horizontal plane and both these planes are perpendicular to each other. Needless to say electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. So here are certain instances of electromagnetic waves. The first are gamma rays. Gamma rays have an extremely less wavelength lesser than 0.1 angstroms. Then there are X-rays whose wavelengths are up to 100 angstroms. Then ultraviolet rays. We've got visible light which is a very small part of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. And the wavelengths of visible light as we already know are 
4000 angstroms to 8000 angstroms then we have infrared waves microwaves and radio waves whose wavelength is more than 10 meters so if you've already observed the wavelength of electromagnetic waves increases as we go from gamma rays to radio waves gamma rays have the least wavelength whereas radio waves have the highest wavelength and since frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength gamma rays have the highest frequency and radio waves have the lowest frequency and since high frequency waves have high energy gamma rays also have the highest amount of energy compared to all other electromagnetic waves now all electromagnetic waves whether they are gamma rays x rays ultraviolet rays visible light infrared waves microwaves or radio waves all of these waves have some properties in common first all of them travel at the speed of light that is 3 to 10 raised to 8 meters per second then all these electromagnetic waves can travel through vacuum unlike mechanical waves third all electromagnetic waves like visible light they can be reflected and refracted and finally if you pass electromagnetic waves through electric fields and magnetic fields they are not deflected so here's a summary of this video the splitting of white light into its constituent colors is called dispersion dispersion occurs because lesser wavelengths are deviated more by glass and higher wavelengths are deviated less the visible spectrum has wavelengths between 4000 angstroms and 8000 angstroms. Electromagnetic waves consist of oscillating electric and magnetic fields perpendicular to each other. And finally, all electromagnetic waves have some properties in common that is they can travel to the speed of light through vacuum and can also be reflected and refracted. So that's all in this video. In the next video, we will be talking about scattering of light.